This is the HLK Strat Style Guitar. I'm going to turn this into an HLK Silver Sky. Welcome back guys, it's Alex from TechAeros.com and this is a very different video than what I normally do. And I want to preface this video by saying I'm not an expert, don't take advice from me. This is just a project I'm working on, I wanted to share with people. Um, so what I do here is all on my own. If you decide to do what you're going to do with yours, uh, that's on you. Um, I am not a guitar technician, um, I am a guitar player, but I this is my first project guitar and I thought it'd be fun and it didn't cost me that much so figured I'd give it a whirl. But what you're looking at here is an uh, HLK Strat style guitar, Hard Luck Kings, uh, the bombshell. It's a fairly nice guitar, it's really heavy and I got this on reverb for a decent price, um, cheaper than you would get a Squire. Um, so it's used, but as you can see, it pretty much looks like a Strat. And what I wanted to do, and I cannot afford a PRS Silver Sky uh, at the moment. It's a well in the $2,000 range and some used are $1,800, $1,900. So I got a used, or excuse me, I got a, a, um, a cheap, neck off of eBay and we'll show that here and my work area is definitely not a guitar work area I gotta say I'm working in my garage on top of my freezer so this is not ideal but that's the neck that I'll be using to put onto this guitar and when I ordered it I did not think it would work I thought no I don't think it'll work um, it's just not gonna it's just not gonna be the same so you know PRS guitars are normally neck through design, but when I got this in, I noticed that the headstock is reversed just like a Silver Sky. So I'm thinking that whoever made this is intending was intending for, for it to go onto a Strat style body, and it is bolt on style, as you can see. Now I got to get some fret work done on this. Um, I got to level the frets and get the fret ends shaved down. It's not by any means the most beautiful neck in the world. The, the birds are not inlays, they're painted on. Um, there are some spots where you can see some bleed through. I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but there is some bleed through on there. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but for $35, I figure I'd give it a whirl. So I have this neck to put on this guitar. I also ordered a custom pick guard from 920D and let's show that here and excuse my wire and that has the uh, Texas vintage pickups in it and I also replaced this came originally with silver knobs I bought the PR silver sky knobs and I put those on I'll pop those off and put them on the new pick guard I just wanted to see what they look like on the body um, and I bought some Spurzel locking tuners. I'll be installing those on there. And then I got um, a custom uh, back plate. This is the original that's on there now. And I, I'm getting rid of this one and using one that's, that says uh, custom vintage guitars or something like that, something generic, but it's kind of cool looking. So I thought I'd, I'd do that. But this right now is going to be my project guitar. I'm hoping I can get crank this out over the weekend. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think my hardest thing is going to be getting this neck drilled. I don't have any clamps or vices, so it's going to take a little uh, creativity to, to get that done. Then I'll have to drill the the holes for the tuning pegs on the back to hold the spurzels in. Uh, 
I am not going to go through a step-by-step -step procedure of what I'm doing on this guitar. I don't think it'd be helpful to you guys. It's like I said, something I'm just playing with. Uh, I don't want to, um, I, I wouldn't even venture to say that I am an expert on any of this. So I don't want to put that out there as if I am. So um, I'm going to take that neck out real quick. I'm going to show you what this PRS style neck looks like in there and what we're going for here. And the fit is pretty good in there, see? It's a pretty good fit in the neck pocket. There's a slight bit of play, but it's not a lot, and I don't think I'm really gonna do anything with that. If I need to add a shim in there to tighten it up a little bit, I'll probably, I'll probably do that. But other than that, I just gotta get the neck on, get the tuners, well, I'll do the tuners first, and get the fret work done and then um, drop in that 920 in there and the 920 is pre-wired comes pre-wired with the uh, the input jack as well so it's just a matter of popping this one out popping that one in at some point I want to replace this bridge uh, the trim system with a better one uh, I don't know what brand that one is but um, yeah well this is the HLK or H yeah yeah HLK hard luck Kings uh, uh, Silver Sky project that I'm working on and uh, once I get everything put together I will make another video and show you what this guitar turned out and how it turned out um, I'll try to get some sounds but again I, I'm not equipped to really record great sounds um, with my cameras and my gear that I have but um, I, the 920Ds are definitely gonna be better than what's in this thing I played this uh, when I first got it, and these p pickups are pretty weak. Um, didn't really like them, so excited to try those Texas Vintages out. Anyway, hey guys, if you like this video, uh, please like it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys on the other side.